Welcome to the art of Dino and Dart. We are about to share with you our collection of artworks and our intentions for creating them. Please enjoy what you are about to see, hear, and feel. Our paths of art began at a very young age. We were born with a love of nature and an ability to see the world in a truly unique way. We are self-taught artists who have always researched within to better understand the unknown mysteries surrounding us. We have always believed in a spiritual realm too perfect to comprehend. We realized early that art would be our path towards discovery. We truly feel blessed to be born human in these bodies and at this time. Our goal is to provide artwork for all ages and all peoples of Earth, to encourage others to positively experience the world and learn as much as possible about it, while doing everything in our collective powers to save all innocent beings from suffering. The art took nine and a half months to create an 18 by 32 inch hand-drawn ink map of Earth made entirely of over 1,250 endangered animals. I would love to see this arc in all schools worldwide in order to encourage our future to love and admire the animal kingdom. From the depths of the sea, through the many vast landscapes, we all must do our part to save Earth. We are currently working towards creating a non-profit organization that could use art to help animals in need everywhere. We cannot imagine a world without such majestic and beautiful living creatures upon it. We know they are more intelligent than anyone believes, and there is always more that we can learn from simply observing them. We are even open to learning from powers which cannot be observed or clearly understood, like the tarot. 78 magical cards that seem to always provide the proper answers whenever called upon. Even when we don't like what it says, it still knows. How? We have no idea. As for religion and spirituality, we like a little bit of everything. If an ancient story, proverb, or prayer resonates with us on all levels, we welcome it. The Buddhist Eightfold Path, Four Noble Truths, Wheel of Dharma, Karma, and the Golden Rule are a few of our favorites. Here I stand before our Holy Mother Mary. Whether you know her story or not, she is the embodiment of what it is to be a woman who values herself, possesses a great inner strength, and a healing, loving heart. Mary has played a special part in my life, and I will get into that more later. Our first artwork together, ever, is Tradlands. traveling the world, creating and spreading our art into as many hands, eyes, and minds as possible. We love being on the road, meeting amazing people, observing everything, and unlocking new visual terrain for our imaginations to utilize. There are so many places we aim to see and experience. To be in the presence of such wonders as the pyramids, and imagine the true ancient realities of Egypt must feel amazing. We generate some of this power by creating art in honor of these places, but we really, really, really want to go there. Someday. Princess Penelope and Looney snuggle in love. Two of my four cats, right there. Their funny personalities and impressive descendants from Egypt inspired the cat mandala. In the cat mandala, I try to convey the spiritual power of the cat and the gods many have forgotten. The ancient cultures could recognize the soul and spirit within the animals. It's time to start recognizing the spiritual realm within us all, human and animal, again. Let nature be because I wanted to be a voice for the animals of the wilderness. Here in my painting, there is a power coming up from the earth to the animals and into the stars, with the wolf leading his friends in a call to the human souls who will listen. We wonder about 
about the past and how everything came to be. This art is based on an interesting theory about gigantic mile-high ancient trees and the Grand Canyon being an ancient mining operation. It could be true. Maybe our trees are just ancient weeds. We may never know the truth, but we love to imagine the potential. We pride ourselves on creating art with lots of meaning, purpose, and symbolism. The water responsible for the growth of this tree is blessed with the will to save Earth. This intention flows through all that we do. One of the animals who has inspired many paintings of mine is the cow. I'm not surprised the Hindus regard these animals as sacred. These gentle giants have provided humanity with so much yet are treated so horribly. I've painted many rescue cows to celebrate the few who have surpassed all odds and found freedom and safety. I've also painted the souls of the cows who have left this earth. These souls need the message to help them be sent out to the world. I will continue to honor their request. I've so far been able to save one cow, but I dream to someday save many. Mother Earth loves all of creation. In my painting, Women of Earth, Mother Earth is crying. She is holding the earth she loves so much. The animal spirits are resting in her hair and all around her. The cosmic turtle, moonfish, and tankfish come to comfort her. The animals of the earth, like the majestic deer, are innocent like children. As a woman, I'm proud to connect and protect the innocent souls of the earth. The universe has always been good to us, so I spent six months drawing a thank you for its eternal splendor. Galaxies, planets, stars, moons, comets, and the galactic center are all surrounding the Earth in her most energetic chakra points while expanding towards infinity. Or is it all an illusion crafted by our minds? Spire, my most treasured creation of all, dedicated to the spiral, has exposed me to a plethora of visual mysteries which I am dedicated to learning more about. With relaxed eyes and mind, the art comes alive when spinning, forming multi-dimensional structures that defy any classification. This is Spiralia, my third spiral. There will be many, many more. I'm constantly discovering new ways to spin and observe art. My ideas combine with my father's engineering and great things are made. I even designed and devised the Mandala Magic app with an amazing team from India, which allows everyone to spin art, upload images, or take photos of anything and see what it looks like while spinning at various speeds and even when zooming in. and at festivals, we created a fold-up standing mandala easel, which allows for both of us to draw at once, maximizing our creativity time and fun levels. The dream mandala was our first artwork created on this easel. It is filled with hundreds of little creatures and animals that we met during the year of the drawing. And a lot more. We crafted the Earth Mandala, which we finished just in time for our cross-country road trip. To complete it in time, neither of us slept for more than four hours a day for the last ten days of its creation. We love pushing ourselves to our limits, especially for our mission of art. For us, our payments and rewards for this path we chose can be felt in our hearts when we encounter someone who truly appreciates what we have to offer. Even if only one person benefits beautifully from something our goal to share it all with as many people as possible in the name of peace. We strive to make art that can be viewed anywhere and be enjoyed by everyone. I am also a teacher, raised by a great teacher amongst a family of more teachers. Education is incredibly important and can truly shape our future. I created the 400 plus word everything for the birth of my second nephew. This interconnection 
Connected Super Anagram is densely packed with knowledge, imagination, and mystery. For my first nephew, Al was created with 150 words about life in the universe. There are so many areas of wisdom to explore and numerous pioneers to guide the way. Nikola Tesla is a superhero. With every breath, we work towards a comprehensive understanding of the world and our modern reality should be more grateful for his discoveries. While many get lost in the odd complexities of Einstein's theories, I put my trust in Tesla. And he too put trust in the wisdom of the ancients. The Janiverse shows another map of the universe based on the Srimad Bhagavatam, an incredibly sacred text, along with those of the Tibetans, the Himalayan masters of the inner self. Mandala Buddha features the Buddha, Avalokiteshvara, green and white Tara, and Amitabha, surrounded by over 70 symbols and stories while circling the eternal wheel of life forever and ever. And then there are artworks that come from somewhere else, some outside force that seems to guide my hand and mind towards these intricate interconnections with meaningful complexities just beyond my grasp. This happens frequently whenever the Aztecs and Maya are involved. While we can never predict where the labyrinth of life will take us, we thoroughly enjoy every friend we meet along the way. And while we know we can't save everything, we can't help feeling compelled to try. Oh my, oh my God. Each life is precious. Every life deserves to be free and pursue happiness. Everything is a divine creation. I painted Save Us as I imagined a nice alien from outer space taking Dino and I and our cats and the rest of the animals of Earth on a vacation to a world full of peace. There's a light I painted around Earth bringing a healing energy to all. But until that happens, we know we must make the best of our time here. In the 12 days following the 2016 elections, I completed a piece of Earth in hopes of ushering in a golden age renaissance that we may now finally be able to conceive and achieve if we can all work harmoniously together. We must learn from our collective past. We were born in Boston, which some call the birthplace of the American Revolution. This history is just as important as this history. The Native American culture, art, and love of nature have been another important inspiration for us both throughout our lives. We try our best to hike in the woods and surround ourselves with forest at some point of every day. The level of comfort and serenity we feel in the woods is unparalleled. Although the ancient caves of Aruba feel pretty amazing. And the land of the Buddha still awaits us. One of my many favorite reasons for being alive is our easy access to ancient texts and wisdom. The insights gained from these shared treasures is priceless when dealing with the ever-present forces of life, like duality. love for her child and her faith in goodness keeps her spirit alive to this day. Mary represents that universal love and care that only a great mother can give. To be given the chance to visually represent scenes and concepts like the Garden of Eden is one of the infinite perks of being an artist. So I tweaked Bosch's vision for an all-ages crowd and imagined the garden at the instant before God touches Adam in the last microsecond before Adam opens his eyes and sees whatever you think. There's so much to see in this drawing, including us feeding some fish. The ocean is such a powerful, mysterious, and magnificent part of our world. Dino and I both would agree being near the ocean is heaven for us. 
It's always an adventure to explore the ocean and connect with the creatures who call it home. I have a huge love for water for so many different reasons. Even my paint of choice, watercolor, is special to me because I find that water is working to create art with me. Dino and I want our art to fill the viewer's heart with our love for the ocean and with that be a reminder to always protect and honor her. first hikes together in nature was to a nearby boardwalk on Ponkapog Lake, a hidden gem for observing our beautiful local wildlife and then drawing it. Mermaid Town was our second artwork together. Pure imagination, best viewed from every possible angle and lane. the souls of the animals are real and that they have memories and feelings just like us. Back in 2014, we rescued a baby cow from becoming veal. He is now a big, beautiful cow who lives his life in peace. To see him enjoying his life is pure bliss for me. My art will always be created to help my animal friends like Billy. Right now, we don't have much to give, but someday I hope with hard work, we will be able to support a variety of rescues and sanctuaries with our art. Billy got his start at Live and Let Live Sanctuary in Chichester, New Hampshire. Teresa Paradise is the founder and one of the most amazing rescuers we have ever met. She saved every animal you can think of, and it all started with her love of horses. Teresa has been saving abandoned racehorses, those neglected and abused, and even wild mustangs in need from the West. She connects with their spirit and they realize that life will be good for them now. We created a mural we are still working on to honor her and all of the animals that have found a new and happy life at Live and Let Live. We're happy and honored to be able to give back with our art in this way.
trip to California for one of them. Although most are right home in New England. We have had our art in several galleries across the country. The biggest showing of all filled the Zulu Gallery of Medfield with over 40 originals of ink and oil for over two months. We are truly thankful for all gallery opportunities we receive and honored to live within three hours of one of our favorite living artists, the visionary Alex Gray. From the instant I first saw Salvador Dali, my life was never the same. Twenty years later, I packed 110 symbols and scenes of Dali into one drawing. I had Dali-esque dreams every single night of the four weeks it took to complete. M.C. Escher, another art hero, dedicated his life to visualizing the infinite. I aimed to continue this quest and created Mobius after seeing his exhibit. thoroughly enjoy sharing our art with others and always appreciate some good jams. Ow! Many years ago, I drew on guitars for some friends and played some guitars since 1998 with some of my best friends for our band Irrepress. I love writing music, especially metal. Touring Europe for two months was one of the greatest and most hilarious achievements of my life. But there are many more to come. Every year, Dino and I are thankful to be invited to spend time on the island paradise called Aruba. Aruba has inspired us in so many ways. We've connected with the fish, the lizards, and the birds. We're always trying to work with the locals to keep the beach clean. This year, Dino proposed to me in front of the Lord's Grotto, and it was an amazing and special moment I will never forget. We love Aruba. We are thankful to the oceans and the magic of the Caribbean for the blessings and inspiration we've received. In response to the havoc wreaked upon our oceans by too many corporations to name, all for material wealth, I created pacifistic The Whale. Even the potentially vicious crocodile is no match for toxic chemicals in a poisoned water supply. All animals deserve a clean, pure, and sustainably healthy habitat, whether under the sea, on land, or in the sky. And all beings deserve truth, no matter what it reveals, because there are a lot of theories out there which masquerade as truths, especially when dealing with the size, shape, and nature of our universe. One day, I observed sunlight pass through a bubble on the surface of the water and form a star pattern on the sand below. Maybe there is an ocean of water above us and a great light beyond that. Or maybe divine spirits on crystals and lotuses surround us in alternate dimensions, granting us the gifts of our senses and powers. Maybe. All we know for sure is that some really magical things can happen if you decide to pay attention to the details. Synchronicities are everywhere. The battle of good or evil is real, and good is winning. But evil plays dirty and has a lot of money to spend, experimenting with nature in order to claim to fix what isn't broken. So we question what we see and encourage everyone to do the same. Tesla could tap into the ether, and many free energy geniuses from around the world have discovered even more methods that need to become available for all mankind to benefit from. We believe that when the government works for the goodwill of we the people, America will fulfill its potential and utilize its innovation and creativity in ways that we can only imagine. Our grandfathers, Alex Senabaldi, Guy DiNapoli, Herbert Gillis, Richard Dart, and Aaron's dad, Robert, have served our country proudly since World War I. We love America.
America. Thanks infinitely for opening your eyes to ours. Mm -hmm.